just uh, recently, you know, um, we, we inherited the, uh, in the last few years, inherited the code compliance division from the former health department. And we thought that it was, uh, for, for cohesiveness, it was a great fit here because we already, you know, have the building inspections division here. So it kind of ties in with a, a lot of the property maintenance items that we come up with. Yeah, so we'll receive a complaint. Um, we have seven code officers that are dispatched to different areas of the city. And we have one roving officer um, they'll go out and investigate the complaint, find any code violations that they may have there, and there could be, you know, various different types. Code enforcement is important because it helps to protect uh, the health of the community, the safety of the community by making sure that um, properties are kept clean and orderly. They take pictures and, and log those into a case. The property owner and the tenant, who may be living there if it's not the property owner, um, are sent a letter as notification so that they can voluntarily comply to uh, handle the violation and, and take care of the property. Uh, we're pretty much complaint driven. So somebody makes a complaint about a property, uh, we go out, check it out. Now, they might make a complaint for tall grass and weeds, but we're gonna look for all the basic uh, code compliance uh, issues. Uh, this helps me if they call and ask what the problems are and it also uh, if there's no violations here it also lets me know that uh, the uh, if somebody calls and complains that there were violations I can show pictures that they're they're not uh, yes uh, this house they tell me is vacant I don't believe it has any utilities on for it um, so but we'll still send the owner a letter and let them know what's going on and we give them three weeks to fix the issues most of our calls are pretty simple when it comes to tall grass and weeds, unlicensed vehicles, violations like that, especially when it comes to uh, vacant properties. We go in, we take pic we'll go out to the property, take pictures, uh, document what the violations are, and then we send them a letter. We give them three weeks to fix the issue and an opportunity to call us and ask for more time if they need it. Our job is not to get them in trouble. Our job is to help them get uh, compliant with the laws and so we can let them know the, the little things they can do that are more cost-effective to fix the issues. Yeah we definitely have pockets here and there of, of very well maintained and even those are mixed in with some of the areas that definitely need attention. Um, we have different departments though within community development that address vacant structures or a, a building that has structural issues. Um, but when we see like a large amount of trash at a, at a property, we can start a case on our own just to be proactive with it as well. See this non-operable vehicle, doesn't have a license plate, it's parked in the grass, it's wrecked. Um, again, all against city ordinance. So I'm gonna try and make contact with the resident here. I wasn't able to make any contact with the resident here, so my next thing is I'll send a letter to them giving them time to make the correction dates or give me a call so they can get more time so we can work with them to, to rectify the, the complaint here. It's a lot of fun to be out and about in the city, um, seeing the changes, um, meeting the people, engaging with the citizens. It's not all bad, that's for sure. We're just here to try and help people understand what our ordinance is. Um, a lot of people do move into our city and they, they don't understand that we have ordinances. Other cities don't. And so our, we're just here to help explain and help with uh, you know keeping the city trying to look its best. I think it's important that we educate citizens on what codes are. Um, but I think citizens can also help by just giving us a call, um, letting us know if they are seeing something that's out there that we need to go and take care of or take a look at, um, they can call us or they can file it online. The code is posted online. It's gonna be mostly in chapter four, um, but also there is a quick guide online called Know the Code on the Code Enforcement webpage. Um, and that's the, that Know the Code brochure that we have pretty much covers the most of the complaints that we get um, and just how to stay in compliance. If we're uh, keeping the citizens happy with, uh, you know, uh, responding correctly to their complaints, um, handling them in a timely manner, 
you know, I consider that a success from a manager standpoint. You know, my favorite part of, of managing these divisions, um, especially the neighborhood services division, are the folks that work for us. And that's my best, that's my favorite part about this job is that I get to work with such an efficient and, you know, um, uh, for lack of a better term, cool staff. They are, they're all great folks. <laughs>